Now this is uh, glass tile, and the reason why it has the plastic on the front. Okay, so this is the glass tile I'm installing on this backsplash, and it's actually fairly transparent. Some are more transparent than others. Some are more, some are less. Some are high gloss, some are more matte. But if you, you put a, the light on the back of this, you can see it's it's pretty transparent. So what that means, you want to make sure that you don't see the ridges of the thin set under the tile. Now this one here, this particular tile here is not going to be quite as critical, but, critical, but some of them are, are clearer than this one. Now, so what that means is, as you'll see in the video, I spread the thin set with the with the notch side of the trowel and get it all even, and then I'll use the back side of a trowel to flatten all the ridges down. I won't be removing any thin set, I'm just flattening the ridges. So that way, when you set this tile into the thin set, the ridges will all be, all already be flattened, and you want to make sure you pick the correct size trowel for the purpose. Now you don't want the trowel to be too big because then the thin set will squeeze through and up the the size of the tile and you don't want to pick uh, a trowel that's too small because then what will happen is the you won't get enough coverage on the back of the tile and you want the back of the tile to have 100% coverage. So you're going to spread the thin set, then you're going to flatten it out, and then you're going to apply a tile, and you're going to push it in. I usually use a float, you can use a beta block. Now this is uh, glass tile, and the reason why it has the plastic on the front, see it's got plastic on the front, is because if they had a mesh on the back of the tile, when you installed the tile, the mesh would show through the front of the tile. They use this, this plastic, in this case it's plastic, sometimes it'll be paper faced, it'll have like a brown paper on it to hold all the tiles together. And this one is stuck so well that I actually had to wait the next day to, to peel it off. I tried to peel it off after I had installed it and it was just starting to pull the tile off the wall. So I waited uh, for the next day. If it was a paper faced mosaic tile, then you would need to take it off shortly after you set it. Maybe 10 or 15 minutes later you would wet the paper down and take it off and it usually comes off very easily and the reason you do more of that on that type of paper face tile is because you can't see the tile and you don't know if any thin set is squeezed through the tiles are aligned with this plastic you can actually see what's underneath you also want to make sure you use a high polymer content thin set mortar what does that mean the thin set has a very good bonding ability so you want to make sure you use that type of thin set Usually it'll be an ANSI A118.15 thin set, but be careful that the thin set is actually usable for glass tile. Some of them are not. Most of them are, but some of them are not. And some are specifically made for glass tile.